Hi, I'm Graham Sattler and I'm giving this presentation today on behalf also of my colleague Dr Phil Mullen. We'd like to commence today by um, acknowledging the Wiradjuri people upon whose land we are recording this presentation today. We'd like to pay our respects to Elders past and present and extend that respect to any and all First Nations people who may be watching or listening to this presentation today. Passion, Participation and Process, a community music leadership road trip in non-metropolitan Australia, carried out in New South Wales, the most populous of Australia's eight states or territories. Non-metropolitan New South Wales is responsible for approximately 26% of that population. Community music as inclusive educational practice is largely managed or facilitated in non-metropolitan New South Wales by a network of community owned and operated organisations known as regional conservatoriums. Regional music education in Australia is in a state of flux, experiencing significant challenges. Various factors, including the economic impacts of both the recent and previous decade-long drought, have impacted profoundly on the viability of music education organisations, particularly those employing a conventional or heritage model based on one-to-one -one instrumental and vocal tuition in the Western European art music tradition. Regional conservatoriums are defined by the New South Wales State Government as organisations providing music education and training for their local communities, with schools and school students as a majority to comp component of their client base and the minimum requirements in terms of uh, tasks and operations um, involve fairly conventional uh, things like instrumental vocal tuition, composition music theory, ensembles, professional development, uh, public concerts, participation in community cultural development activities, etc. Unique to New South Wales, the 17 regional cons are located in smaller cities or rural service centres with populations that range from 8,000 to 330,000. Over a two-week period in August 2018, Dr Phil Mullen and I embarked on a professional learning tour comprising one-day training visits to seven of the 17 regional conservatoriums, engaging with educators and management in relation to their community music education practices, principles and leadership, with the additional objective of evaluating the network's collective awareness of musical inclusion, offering some tools and strategies for an enhanced community music leadership environment. Now the four core community music leadership skills of group pedagogy slash andragogy, music performance, entrepreneurship and advocacy provided the theoretical underpinning of the interactive training. Networks of relationship within and extending from the individual organisations communities were explored through informal and semi-formal surveys of the educators in each location. We considered the five stages of the project, the first one being the rationale which was around um, finding a unification or, or a, a, similarity, a similarity across the um, regional conservatoriums of their approach to community music inclusion and also professional training. Um, in addition to the rationale, of course, there was the purpose, the process, the data collection and the outcomes to consider and a reflection on the significance of the findings in the context of organisation and network desirability of a structural underpinning of outlook and approach. Juxtapose this with the isolation faced by like organisations serving teaching and learning communities that are separated by many hundreds of kilometres and varied socio-cultural and socio-economic settings. Phil's training approach, uh, the four thrusts were who do you, the organisation and or the individual reach? What genres of music are being included, referenced, engaged in? Is the pedagogy or method of musical engagement inclusive? And is the workforce representative of the community or working towards such fair and equal representation. The training was designed to deepen understanding of an inclusive approach to musical development. The days were divided between practical music making with an emphasis on creative approaches that most, if not all people, could get involved in and a theoretical aspect outlining the core ideas within interventionist community music, especially inclusive pedagogy and the use of both emotional intelligence and reflective um, practice. And you can see here that Phil was not frightened of bringing in uh, guest presenters. Issues highlighted through field notes and participant evaluation data included organisational isolation, that was a big ticket item, community perception of conservatorium roles and human resourcing. And those community perceptions included within conservatorium communities as well as the broader communities. 
Isolation is a major factor here. Organisations are vastly different in what they do and with whom they do it. They are physically and ideologically isolated, with levels and types of pre-service training and personal experience varying significantly. But while having a broadly similar remit, regional conservatoriums are autonomous and local community orientated. Now, the isolation contributes also to human resourcing. Regional music education providers are frequently faced by the challenge of securing appropriate staff that are highly trained, flexible and confident in alternative pedagogy and andragogy. There's a beautiful shot there too of the wide open spaces of southwestern New South Wales. The impediments of historical perceptions <clears throat> excuse me, is something that the, um, the participants were well and truly aware of and that they raised elitism. Now that's in relation to classical Western European instruments and instrumentation and styles, but also the master-apprentice model, embedded cultural values, including hand-me-down values, and also imposing physical presence of some of the premises of regional conservatoriums. They saw also the training as useful, but did not feel empowered to address the perceived elitism. Um, there's a very imposing looking uh, facility for one of the regional conservatoriums in southern New South Wales. Analysis of the evaluation data indicated an increased awareness of the breadth of inclusion as a principle and a majority desire to be more inclusive in their practice. There was an acknowledgement that existing techniques were not necessarily adequate and that the individuals would like to play an active role in greater engagement in a fundamentally creative approach to participation in music for otherwise less engaged student cohorts. There, there, was, a significant, there was significant feedback from across the cohort that related to a new or refreshed awareness of the importance of reflective practice and self-reflection in the pursuit and delivery of inclusive music education. Uh, a lovely shot of the end of the day on our last day of travel and a lovely photo of where all good road trips should end. Thank you.